Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Service Now 911. Recently, I posted a video about orphan CI. In that, I have explained the meaning of an orphan CI, its configurations, and some details about it with a proper example. But recently, I got a comment that it's okay that you have provided the information, but how to see the orphan CI in the, uh, you know Service Now instance? So now let me show you in Service Now instance how to find out an orphan CI. Okay, what is the query behind that? So let me share my screen. So my dear friends, you see this is the CMDB correctness dashboard. And this dashboard is coming out of box. Okay, you can also see this particular dashboard in your instance. And under this, you already see orphan CI tab here. Okay, just click on it. It will redirect you here in CMDB health results. And you can see this is the only orphan CI which we have right now in this particular instance. Let me open this CI. This is a Linux server. At the bottom, you see there is no relationship. No downward, no upward relationship available with this particular CI. Okay, so now let's go back. So from where this particular result is coming, this is the question which was asked, right? So now for that, we have to go to the CI class manager. Click on it, click on hierarchy, find out Linux server, click here. So with respect to Linux server class, you see everything here. If you go to the help here, under correctness, you will see these rules, duplicate scorecard, orphan scorecard, orphans rule. Okay, so here if you click on orphan rule, you will be able to see the query behind the orphan rule. So what is the condition here? Install status is installed and relationship is nothing. It means the CI is there in the CMDB and it is an installed state, but it has no relationship. So that's what is it signifying here. Okay. Based on your organization, you can change the orphan rule. It means if you have certain other conditions also, you can update the conditions here in this particular orphan rule. Whatever condition you put in here, based on that, you will see the result in the CMDB correctness dashboard. So I hope this is clear to all of you. If you have any doubt, let me know in the comment section. I will try my best to provide the answer. Friends, we are doing a lot of efforts to give you such information. So please subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends and colleagues. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.